द पीरियोडिक टेबल ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन एवरीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड एलिमेंट इज कंपोज ऑफ इनक्रेडिबली टाइनी पार्टिकल्स कार्ड एटम्स एन एलिमेंट इज ए सब्सटेंस मेड ऑफ ओनली वन काइंड ऑफ एटम ब्लैंक पीरियोडिक टेबल इफ यू लुक एट द पीरियोडिक टेबल इट इज नॉट इवन इट इज अ स्ट्रेंज टेबल लेट्स एग्जामिन इट वन एलिमेंट at a time first structure of the periodic table the vertical rows in the periodic table are called periods there are seven rows which are called periods in the periodic table and also elements in the same period have the same number of electron shells next the horizontal columns in the periodic table are called groups there are 18 horizontal columns which are called groups in the periodic table totally it has 18 groups elements in the same group have similar chemical properties because they have the same number of valence electrons next we will fill up all the empty boxes in the table from 1 to 118 these look like serial numbers but there are atomic numbers from 1 to 118 the atomic number is defined as the number of protons present in the nucleus the atomic number of an element is the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom of that element it is unique to each element and determines its identity this is major difference between modern table and mendeleev's table Mendeleev's table is based on atomic mass but the modern table is based on atomic numbers because the atomic number is a more fundamental property than atomic mass therefore the chemical properties of elements are more related to their atomic numbers than their atomic mass next atomic symbols every element has a unique atomic symbol which is a one or two letter abbreviations derived from its english or latin name these symbols are used universally in chemical equations and formulas to represent elements first an atomic number of 1 means there is one proton in the nucleus this corresponds to hydrogen the atomic symbol for hydrogen is h next second an atomic number of 2 means there are two protons in the nucleus this corresponds to helium the atomic symbol for helium is h e next row third one an atomic number of 3 means there are three protons in the nucleus this corresponds to lithium the atomic symbol for lithium is l i b beryllium b boron c carbon n nitrogen o oxygen f fluorine n e neon in the same manner fill up all the boxes in the table
with every element number filled here. The atomic number increases by 1, which means one proton is added to the nucleus. Additionally, if the number of protons increases by 1, the number of electrons also increases by 1 to maintain neutrality. Since the number of protons and electrons in a neutral atom is equal. Next, Electrons Configuration Let's clarify this by looking at the electron configuration of a few elements. Examples Hydrogen Hydrogen has an electronic number of 1, meaning it has 1 proton and 1 electron. Being in period 1, it has only 1 electron shell. Next, Helium Helium has an atomic number of 2, meaning it has 2 protons and 2 electrons. Being in period 1, it has only one electron shell. Next, Oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic number of 8, meaning it has 8 protons and 8 electrons. Being in period 2, it has 2 electron shells. First electron shell can hold maximum 2 electrons and second shell has 6 electrons. Next Aluminium Aluminium has an atomic number of 13 meaning it has 13 protons and 13 electrons. Being in period 3, it has 3 electron shells. First shell has 2 electrons and second shell has 8 electrons. And third shell has 3 electrons. Next, Potassium. Potassium has an atomic number of 19. Meaning it has 19 protons and 19 electrons being in period 4 it has 4 electron shells first shell has 2 electrons and second shell has 8 electrons and third shell has 8 electrons and last shell fourth it has only one shell total 19 electrons Next, Signification of Periods The period number indicates the number of electron shells or orbits present in an atom. Examples Hydrogen is in period 1, so it has one electron shell. Boron is in period 2, so it has two electron shells. Sulfur is in period 3, so it has 3 electron shells. Calcium is in period 4, so it has 4 electron shells. From period 1 to period 7, each successive period adds 1 more electron shells. Next, Signification of Groups Elements having similar chemical properties are grouped together. Group 1 Except hydrogen, all are metals, they called alkaline metals. Similar chemical properties, they have same valency. Group 2 Metals in this group, they called alkaline earth metals. They have same chemical properties and same valency. Group 17 Non-metal in this group 
have same chemical properties and same valency. Electron configuration refers to how electrons are arranged within an atom. Electron configuration Group 1 Hydrogen atomic number 1 1 electron Lithium atomic number 3 3 electrons 2 comma 1 Sodium atomic number 11 11 electrons 2 comma 8 comma 1 Potassium atomic number 19 19 electrons 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 1 You can see all these elements have similar one electron outer orbit one valency electron outer shell they all have similar chemical properties. Chemical properties depend on number of valency electrons. Next, group 2. Beryllium, atomic number 4. 4 electrons, 2 comma 2. Magnesium, atomic number 12. 12 electrons. 2 comma 8 comma 2 calcium atomic number 20 20 electrons 2 comma 8 comma 8 comma 2 summary elements in the same group have similar chemical properties and the same number of valence electrons next look into Major categories in the periodic table Metals Metalloids Non-metals Next Let's see main groups in the periodic table Group 1 Alkaline metals Highly reactive metals like Lithium Sodium Potassium Group 2 Alkaline earth metals Reactive metals like Magnesium Calcium Group 17 Halogens Reactive Non-metals like Fluorine Chlorine Group 18 Nobel gases Inert gases like Helium Neon Organ If you look at the period 6 and 7 You will notice that Elements numbered 57 to 71 And 89 to 103 Are placed separately Below the main body of the periodic table this arrangement is done to create a more compact periodic table. The elements from 57 to 71 are called the lanthanide series because they start with the element lanthanum. These elements are also known as rare earth elements. The elements from 89 to 103 are called the actinide series because they start with the element actinium. These elements are radioactive. Now let's take a quick look. The vertical rows in the periodic table are called periods. The horizontal columns in the periodic table are called groups. The atomic number is defined as the number of protons present in the nucleus. Atomic symbols are used universally in chemical equations and formulas to represent elements. The period number indicates the number of electron shells or orbits present in an atom. Elements having similar chemical properties 
are grouped together. Major categories in the periodic table metals, non metals, metalloids. Main groups alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, halogens, noble gases. I recommend drawing the periodic table a couple of times. By doing so, you can easily learn and practice it.